institutional knowledge from First Peoples across the world suggests that we always seem to know about fossils and that they represented animals of some kind, but there was a bit of confusion about whether they represented larger forms of animals that we have alive today, or whether they represent mythological creatures like dragons or giants. One of the first dinosaur bones that have ever actually published in this scientific literature was thought to be giant humans, essentially. As funny as it sounds now, at one point people didn't understand that animals could go extinct. They thought they were around forever. And so once they understood that animals could go extinct, they started to realise that these things truly were different from the animals that we have alive today. In 1841, a scientist called Richard Owen coined the term dinosauria, which essentially means terrible lizard. And essentially people just thought that they were giant lizards and the first reconstructions pretty much show this. They look like giant iguanas. Scientists didn't really have a good understanding of the variation within different species of dinosaurs. So every single time scientists dug up a horned dinosaur, they thought it was a different species of Triceratops. At one point or another, there was thought to be about 16 species of Triceratops. In the 1980s and 1990s, scientists began to understand that maybe scientists had oversold how many different species of Triceratops they are. And so when they looked at all the different specimens, they began to realise that there was actually only one or two different species, Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porosus. The specimen that we have coming to Melbourne Museum is one of the most complete triceratops in the world. And because of this, it can actually help us set a new benchmark in how we define how many species of triceratops existed in the past. The specimen that we have coming seems to have characteristics that are consistent with Horridus. And so it is because of this reason that we have named our triceratops Horridus.